page of enhancedathlete.com, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV. Joe Piatal here with your Muscle Sport Minute for today. This episode is being brought to you by Hot Stuff Nutritionals. I'm wearing a Hot Stuff t-shirt that my buddy Paul hooked me up with. And here's one of their products, Glandol. Make sure you go to hotstuffnutritionals.com right now and check out all the cool stuff that they offer you. This is one of those things that it's like an op-ed, if you will. Um, which basically, it doesn't mean that it's news reporting. It's kind of more of a theory or an opinion of mine that I may be totally fucking way off base. And if I am, then I am. But I want to just throw it out there just to say it. A lot of people are saying, why didn't uh, they have some kind of tribute to either Dallas McCarver and or Rich Piana at the Olympia? This is my guess. I, first of all, but when we were there to cover the show, I thought from the get-go that they weren't going to have anything. And if they did, they may have had a quick moment of silence one of the two nights, Friday or Saturday night at the Orleans and the night show, for possibly Dallas because he was an IFBB pro and he did compete at the Olympia in the past. Uh, Piano, on the other hand, was a big name in the industry, but he wasn't a pro when he never competed on the Olympia stage, obviously. So I was thinking, well, eh, they may just do like a little quick thing, you know, bodybuilding community lost two people recently and throw a little quick thing on the screen, moment of silence kind of thing. You know, if they were going to do Dallas, they could have done both to piggyback on that one. But I, I was like, I don't think they're going to do it. And since now, it's been a couple of weeks since the show. And we're still, I just finished doing my uh, Ask Me Anything MSM style. It's our Thursday shows uh, on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Instagram Live. And I was asked a question by um, one of the guys, uh, Kenny O'Neill, who's a, a competitor. And he said, you know, what do you think? Why the fuck do you think that they didn't do anything? for uh, Especially Dallas, considering he was, uh, you know, on a, competed in that fucking show last year. And this is my guess on it. My theory is it brings on bad fucking news. First of all, it's a lot of mystery surrounding why Dallas... I'll just stick with the Macava thing for now. Why Dallas died. We don't exactly have an exact cause of death on that, but let's just all assume that drugs for bodybuilding purposes had a lot to do with it. No matter what happened... We can probably be safe to assume bodybuilding drugs played a part in this kid dying. Maybe not the direct cause of death, but definitely had something, if not a lot, to do with it. So with all of that hanging in the balance, IFBB may have said business purposes, it could bring negative attention on us to talk about this kid. Listen, business is cold, man, you know. I, I listen. I, I'm fucking. I understand. I'm a fucking businessman myself. Sometimes you gotta do sucky things as a businessman that you feel like a prick doing, but you know you gotta do it for the good of the fucking business because you gotta fucking put food on the table at the end of the day. So that's my theory on that. And as far as Rich goes, it's easy to make an excuse why they didn't do it. And I just gave a number of reasons why. But the also another reason why TMZ has been all over Rich Piana, and. TMZ's not giving it good press. Obviously, it's a smear type of thing, and that's what they do. It's a gossip fucking, it's the National Enquirer television version. So um, if they mentioned Piano and then McCarver and the same thing, it would have been easy for TMZ to pick up on it and do a fucking update on this. They did a bunch of rich Piano things when he was sick and then when he died. And then to turn around and say, now the IFBB at the Super Bowl of Bodybuilding, Mr. Olympia show, you know, gave uh, a tribute to two of these guys who were uh, obviously steroid users and GH and all of this other stuff. And they probably thought to themselves and in discussions amongst the hierarchy, it's best to not even mention either guy's name. And it's a business decision I don't disparage them for. I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but I don't disagree with it either. I don't say they're fucked up for doing that. I think that it was not done to be a prick. It was done for business purposes, which I can definitely relate to. The fan street might not be able to relate to that, but somebody that does this for a living, 
you have to be able to relate to that. So I don't I don't hold them, you know, any you know fucking they're fucking wrong for the not at all not not one bit. Hey, musclesportmag.com slash subscribe. 32 bucks a year. Free shipping in the United States. And also right here, Muscle Sport TV on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Free daily quality content. Yes, quality content. Something that's rare in this industry. We'll see you guys next time.